Sad and I are going to make a very simple, basic, straight pizza dough. And I'm gonna take this brush just to get the excess flour out. And this is a zero zero flour. Let me just get the salt and mix it in there as well. And for that, I like to use this Danish dough whisk. So we can disperse the salt right in there. With my hand, I'm going to make a well right here in the center. And in here, we will pour the water. And into the water, we're going to add a little bit of yeast. Again, with my dough whisk, I'm going to stir this up. Now, I love to use this dough whisk right here. But another tool that I absolutely love is just a simple plastic spatula, which is kind of like another hand, and you don't get your fingers dirty, or when the dough is still quite wet. So you have the choice of two different little tools that are really helpful. And now the best tools ever are of course your hands. So we're gonna get the excess dough off from here and actually start working the dough in the bowl and then in a little bit we will set it on the table and finish working it there. Now we're just going to transfer it on our work surface and there is just nothing like actually being able to touch the dough. You can feel the consistency, you can feel the hydration. You can do this in a mixer which would be also a very good option, but I personally love to touch the dough. Now I'm gonna see how it's still kind of rough looking. We're gonna put it in the bowl, allow it to rest for just a few minutes, and then work it some more. So we're just gonna place it in here, cover it with a cloth that I have wet and squeezed all the water out, and in a few minutes we'll work it again. Let's peek inside, 20 minutes have gone by. Our dough has been able to relax. Look at there. And we're gonna work it real quick once again. I think I'm gonna put it right here on the countertop and work it. And look already the difference in the surface. You see how nice and smooth it is? We'll let it relax one more time, work it a bit more, and then it will be allowed to rise. Let's cover it up and allow it to rest for a few more minutes. All right, for the last time, we're gonna take it out and oh, the dough already feels so, so much better. I'm gonna work it one more time and it's coming together beautifully. Look at this gorgeous surface here. Now, just for the um, space sake, I'm gonna place it in here. I should put a little bit of oil, but right now I don't have anyone close by. I'm gonna put it in here, cover it up, and allow it to rise for at least an hour and a half. Let's look at our dough. It looks absolutely beautiful. I see some nice activity going on. Beautiful surface. Now we're going to place this on the table, on our work surface. All right, here I think I'm gonna use my little rubber spatula to get the dough out. And on the work surface, we're going to be able to divide it and shape it into our pizza balls. We're going to divide it up into portions and it's best to weigh them so you kind of know that they're about the same size each. Perfect. If you tuck the edges under, like so, you make the dough nice and taut. You see everything is kind of brought to the center. I'm kind of doing it in slow-mo. Then I'm getting my hand and kind of caging it right on top. And I'm making a rotation so the dough ball actually goes the opposite way. And 
it shapes into a nice round dough ball. So once again, after a while you kind of get quick at doing it. There we go. So these are the huge dough trays that we've been using for a long time, but we're really excited because we just got these in and they're a perfect size. They're also stackable, but they fit in any fridge at home. Now we have two choices. We can either let them rise in here for about an hour and a half, two hours, covered up, or we can place them in the refrigerator, which we will do, and tomorrow we will make pizza. Here it is, 24 hours later. Here are the small trays, the ones that fit in the refrigerator. And now let's look at our large tray where the dough has been able to cold proof all night. And not only has it improved in flavor, but also in structure. And look at here, it is ready to be stretched out and will allow the oven to do its magic. Mm -hmm.